Foxes and today I'll be doing another cooking video and I have stayed true to like once every two weeks but you know I gotta get into the cooking it's just so fun to do so here we go so right now uh, I'm making eggs in a nest what that basically is is the you may you cut out a piece of toast and this should just be in the middle about I'd say it should be around a fourth of the toast but you have to make it in the middle so after you cut that out, you would want to get your egg, crack it, put it into that fourth of the bread piece size, and you want a medium piece of bread, and then you let it cook until the bottom has been like hardened, and then you can flip over so that it doesn't splatter all over the place. I'll show you step by step after, and I'll do, I failed one, and hopefully the one I do with you, I don't fail. Let's go. Well, I just took it off, and there's um, okay side and the I failed side because I was recording. Well, it's only really this part. But uh, actually, even if it's burnt, eggs in a nest still taste delicious. Like, uh, it tastes better than eggs and toast, even when you cook the toast. So, let's see my reaction to the failed one where I didn't do it with you. The bread's good. I'm about to get into the burnt part. Hmm. Not bad. Out of the two, the three eggs of a nest I've had so far, I'll rate this a seven. And then, I'll show, hopefully the one I just do can be a 10 out of 10. I also, hashtag not sponsored in the comments, I'm drinking some naked juice because I love these drinks. For a while, blue machines weren't in the store, and it made me feel so sad. <gasps> That'd be a really cool video I could do. Comment down below if you'd like to see me do a smoothie video where I make smoothies and I have to add random ingredients. That could be a different video, too. So, like, challenge and a cooking video all in two. <laughs> anyway, let's go on to the step-by-step. -step. First step you want to take while making eggs in the nest is, oh my gosh, my phone won't stay up. I got it, is you want to get some butter. So you do need butter. I'll put the ingredients right here, all the way to like over here, but it's not actually that many. So maybe a butter, I this is just a rough amount. I'd say about mm, maybe two tablespoons of butter. Then you just put it on it. Come on, you know butter. If you keep reviews it, I'm gonna have to melt you which I'm doing anyway, so looks like no matter what you do, you're going to die. <laughs> okay, so you also want to have a spatula or a flipper or whatever you call it because everyone calls it different things. It's so confusing. So I would say if yours Dope. goes up to high and it, the one below it is eight, put it to a five or a four to melt for you the whole entire time. Sometimes you can, it's like easy to make the mistake of putting it higher and these will burn because it's bread and that burns. And yeah, so you just kind of fluff the amount around. I might need a little more butter, but you don't want to make it super greasy because greasy eggs are just kind of disgusting. So, oh my gosh, are you serious? I do, I do need more butter. Ew, ew. There was a lucky charm connected to the butter thing. I don't know why, but I got a different piece of butter. Get off. Are you serious? I swear it's like it doesn't want to burn. Okay. Oh, I'm just, yeah. And in the, like on the ingredients, it'll show salt or pepper or nothing because honestly, I think eggs in a nest is best without salt and pepper. It just doesn't need it really, I feel like. I think you can do it with or without. It does add a little more flavor if you do it with, but that's never necessary with eggs in a nest because it's like more with regular eggs because, well, that's kind of something you need. But with eggs in a nest, since you already got the flavor from the bread, you it's not necessary to put salt. So I don't mind. So now it's time to get my piece of bread. Now that the butter has melted and it's greased the pan, you're going to want to get a medium-sized piece of bread. And this can be white, brown, cinnamon even if you want. I don't think that tastes that good, but do whatever you want, whatever kind of bread you want. It's a free world. 
So as you said, I, I'm gonna cut about a third of the bread whole out, but it's gonna be in the middle. So do that. I was in class. I really don't, I really shouldn't tell this to you. And um, I was talking to my friend and I was like, we were doing Excel, okay, in my class. And I was like, it just doesn't seem necessary to me. And then the teacher calls me up because she heard me. I was like, um, you didn't hear anything. And then, so she just said, it is necessary. And then just listed all things about cars. I was like, do you think I'm gonna have a job about a car? I didn't say that, but that's what happened. And it was kind of embarrassing, but I think she kind of forgot now. And she is a good teacher though. And yeah, she's pretty hip too, but she can be strict. And also, instead of cutting it, you can use a cookie cutter, like is in the um, the list. Cookie cutters are what you're supposed to use, but since I don't have one on hand, I am not going to do that. Right now, just for the sake of I really want it to taste good, I'm doing it one by one by doing the piece I cut out first and then cooking that instead of putting both on at once. So now I'll flip that. And that takes, it only needs around, um, I still need a little more butter after this. Just like a little bit. Because if you do do the step by step, don't put as much butter on be, for, because the first one will take up almost all the butter. So that's why last time when I did that, I put them both on at one time. Where did the other piece go? What? I'm so confused. Did I eat it? I probably ate it. <laughs> I guess I can't remember what I ate anymore. And actually, I really do like the heart piece. And in class when I was making this, I got the worst piece. Like you don't, it like was all burnt and terrible and trust me, I wasn't the person making it. So that's why. This is what happens when you don't have enough butter on one side, it burns. But that's actually like, you want it to be that golden brown even if it looks like burnt. It's kind of still the, oh no, I really don't want that much. Okay, more like, that much. Oh no, a piece stayed on. I gotta get that off or else it's gonna burn. There, come on, get off of here. Ugh. Yeah, it almost did burn. Okay, bye. Oh, did you hear that sizzle? So now I'm just gonna swirl it around because that's like necessary. And wow, this one went a lot quicker. So now what you're gonna wanna do is get your bread, put it on first. Then, after about 30 seconds, you're gonna wanna put the egg in. Now, if you wanna know the way I crack an egg, it's this way. So I have the egg, and then I got this part of the knife. Not this part, because that just doesn't work. This part, the back, and... Now you see the opening, and all you have to do is crack it from there. And make sure you get it in the middle or else it can go really badly, which hasn't happened to me, but it can definitely happen. There we go, I got it in the middle. So put that away. And always remember, wash your hands before making anything. And like, after you crack an egg, you also wanna wash your hands because you don't wanna get that on like other things. That's just disgusting. So just wash your hands really quick. And now, the way you know if it's done or not is, I say use a knife instead of a spatula, so just to check and then use the spatula to flip. So what you would do is, here, let me show you really quick how the bottom should look like. Before flipping, you wanna have the bottom like that whitish color, except a little darker, because that means it's ready to flip and it won't go all over the place. Also, try to make sure you get your yolk in the middle because like it kind of got a little on the side and now it's stuck, but you can always get rid of that by doing a quick little this. Bam. Now I'll show you me flipping it. Here's me checking if it's good or not. So I just got my name. And I'd see, you want to see the toast to make sure it's good or not. Yes, it is good. And it got way too much butter on it and burnt. Well, looks like my first one was butter. Emergency. Failed. But hopefully this side I can do a lot better. 
I, yeah, big mistake, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it's so sad. And I also got yolk, kind of, all over. I don't, for some reason, the toast cooked more. It, I think it was too much butter or something, yeah. So, well, that side's obviously not ready yet, but let me just check it. Because, like, since it did. Yeah. That's so sad. <laughs> I, did, I just failed. But don't put too much butter on. I said I should have sticked with my amount of butter I had on originally, but I thought for the sake of time I'd do it the other way, but I didn't. At least this tastes good. Actually, it tastes really good. Yum. But, now I have to clean all that up. Come on. Don't make the same mistake I did. Only two tablespoons of butter. And put both on at the same time. It seems to be a lot more successful. You can also put your heat on a little lower. Higher than a simmer, but still low. I mean, still, but still at like maybe three. More time. See, if you don't have a lot of butter on it, it takes longer to cook. So if you really need to rush through this, double the amount of butter, but you have to make sure you do it, you, take, you flip each side double in, the, in half the time, because, or else it will burn like mine did because I was trying to show you what it was supposed to look like and what it was supposed to look like I should have flipped it right then because that's when it needed to be flipped oh it's almost ready about 10 seconds no let me see yeah, about 30 seconds so mistakes have been made since it's burnt I'm going to add salt I got my salt here and you can salt it on if you want the salt to like be inside of it or pepper, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna add a little bit of both. If I can find out how this works. I have never used this. How does it work? I'm so confused. Okay, there we go. I got a, a little pepper and a little salt. And now it, you don't really have to worry about it getting all over your plate because it'll be just melted in and the flavor will be in it. Oh geez, that needs to be taken off probably. Yeah. Okay, now you wanna make sure to turn off your stove, take off all your stuff, put it in the sink. But if you have a fire, a, like a fire thing, right over there, since it's been on there so long, watch what will happen let me show you you probably already know what will happen water plus something really hot equals smoke so this will this is hot smoke too so make sure when you are doing this your neck is away from it because lots of people get like third degree burns from having their neck too close to something hot but a quick fact about third degree burns after like second degree, you don't really feel it because it hurt, it, it burns some of your nerves. How nice is that? It's a pain reliever, but it will take forever to heal. Let's do a reaction to this. Oh, come on. You know, it's actually not that bad. It could be a lot worse. If you want to do it in the toaster and just get the egg in, it's kind of cheap, but. You know what? I like that. You can taste. Even if it's burnt, it's still pretty good. Might want to let it cool down though because it will be really hot if you eat it right away. And so you take a bite, you're like, ah, it's so hot! And you fly it up in the air and you're like, <gasps> and then you grab it with your arms and you're like, ah! <laughs> and I mean, it's not super hot right now and I burnt it, so you should be fine. Even if this is a, a good thing to make in a rush if you have still like five minutes so what would i rate this one a five out of ten i got worse <laughs> the reason is i just baked this really bad i put too much butter but 
you know, it still tastes good. Anyway, Foxes, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Foxes. But before I end it, I just want to say, go subscribe to my second channel. Link is in the description.